Hey, what's up, nerds? It is Paul at Radio Free Hammer Hall back once again. So I just wanted to give a few thoughts on uh, this new upcoming Seraphon release. And although uh, I'm not really actually talking about the release itself, it's really sort of more the side effect of this new Battle Tome coming out. Um, and that is a whole bunch of the Seraphon line was discontinued. Now, typically, when in recent history, when models have been discontinued, they have been replaced with simply an updated sculpt of the same unit. So it's been quite a while that we've actually uh, been now without having War Scrolls themselves removed from Battle Tomes. So all of this really kind of, let me just give you the kind of the history of the uh, these sorts of changes. When we first uh, started with Age of Sigmar, we got War Scrolls for basically everything from Warhammer Fantasy Battles that was still around, uh, still being produced at that time, as well as like replacement scrolls for some other things. Um, it was pretty comprehensive. Ah, oh, and I apologize for the shaking. I'm doing this on my cell phone without like a tripod or anything. So uh, if it's bothering you, eh, maybe just listen. So that, uh, that sort of Wild West really only existed for less than a year. Um, there were four big battle tomes that came out that w were a one for each Grand Alliance. And at that time, it significantly cut back the War Scrolls that were sort of in Age of Sigmar, and everything else got moved to Legends. So they sort of weren't officially part of Age of Sigmar anymore, and a whole bunch of things got discontinued at that time. Now, they still did keep around those Legends War Scrolls, even though they were no longer producing the models. And then over time... As new battle tomes were released for existing forces, for existing model lines, um, typically the first battle tome release for those new armies also once again would cull a portion of the model range out that had not already been removed. Um, you know, kind of consolidating things down. Um, and there were, I think probably the most notable of this was Cities of Sigmar when, I don't know, some outrageous number of War Scrolls were discontinued for that book. And, and the book is still huge. There's still a ton of War Scrolls in there by the nature of what it was and what it used to be. Um, really, uh, combining what was five Warhammer Fantasy Battles armies into one battle tome. So, once that cycle was complete. Ironically, it was also with the Seraphon book, which was the last second edition book to get updated. That uh, cycle, which ended probably like two years ago now, um, that was sort of like the end point for models being discontinued, War Scrolls being discontinued out of the line, and, and the new are the models being discontinued, not simply being replaced with new sculpts. So what we have now, uh, after probably about like two years of these things uh, basically being the same, right? We had virtually nothing, I don't think, removed from these model lines and these War Scroll collections in the Battle Tomes up until this point with Seraphon. Seraphon was one of those armies that was still sort of bloated and had a lot of old models in the range, both uh, the sculpts being old and the models only existing in resin or in metal still. And lo and behold, if you take a quick look at the Games Workshop website now, uh, there's no more resin or metal left in there. So... That sort of leads me to think that we might be kind of moving into a new phase of production for Age of Sigmar. So what I suspect 
may be happening now is that we're going to get new battle tomes that are removing a bunch of old models and simply not replacing them. So I think the the bi best candidate that we really see for this, I think, is Cities of Sigmar, once again being brought up as the thing that uh, needs some trimming back. Um, so we have a lot of really old sculpts in Cities of Sigmar. I believe there's still things in resin and metal in that range, although I'm really not familiar with everything, so there might not be. Um, and it's it's huge. It's a big army. I believe it's over 50 War Scrolls. And we know we have a new release coming. And they've been, for quite a while, really hyping up the new models that are going to be released with this force. And I think, it, it you know, we've had massive model redesigns and uh, new, uh, new things coming up in other armies. We just got this with Seraphon. It was not hyped up for a year ahead of time. I think more than a year with Cities of Sigmar. Um, yep, you know, same thing with Slaves to Darkness. When that release came out, it was a huge replacement of a lot of existing sculpts. So this sort of leads me to believe with Cities of Sigmar, we might actually see like a big shift and a big reorganization of how that army works as well as a whole bunch of the War Scrolls, rather than being updated with new models, simply being removed. And I think it's an interesting possibility. There, again, is a lot of old stuff in Cities of Sigmar, a lot of really crappy old sculpts. And a lot of what's in there was just kind of inherited from uh, Warhammer Fantasy Battles. And I, I think they... To a certain extent, I think they just didn't know what to do with it, uh, other than, um, you know, try and get as much out of the range as possible without completely pissing off the fan base of those armies. Um, which I think they kind of did with High Elves anyway, but then won them back with Lumineth. So really, guys, this is kind of my thought on the direction that I'm anticipating Games Workshop to be taking in the future. Uh, cutting back model lines, creating some new war scrolls and, you know, overall kind of doing like big re-releases -re and giving us a lot of new stuff to work with, but uh, in the process, narrowing the model range and simply getting rid of some tired war scrolls. Um, and it's been a while since we've really gotten rid of them. So it seems like it may be time maybe sort of coinciding with uh, fourth edition, which we're all sort of anticipating coming next summer, that would uh, really, I think, give us a new cycle of lines being refreshed. Now, among those, uh, I think we have a few really good candidates that could really uh, get a big ax taken to them. Um, I really wonder why we still have bone splitters around. I think a new battle, uh, Iron Jaws, or I'm sorry, not Iron Jaws, a new release in um, Orc War Clans could really just give us pretty much that whole line just being ejected, especially now that we also have Cruel Boys. Um, Gits did just get a new book, but I think they also have some potential. They have a lot of War Scrolls there. They could have uh, a bunch of the stuff cut out of them as well. Um, Ogres, I think um, I think they're a candidate just for some new sculpts. Uh, there's not really a lot to cut out of that army. Uh, it's not that it's thin. It's probably about the right size for an Age of Sigmar army at this point. Uh, but really, you know, kind of looking to... Uh, other Grand Alliances. In Chaos, we have both Beasts of Chaos and Skaven that are full of old models, and they're pretty decent sized model ranges, then there's some kind of like redundancy in them. So uh, I think there's real potential there for getting uh, those lines cut back and getting a kind of a re-release with a bunch of new sculpts. Uh, and in that, maybe sort of a redesign of how those RB 
abilities work to a certain extent. Um, and then over in order, as I mentioned, I'm, I'm very, I think we have like a 90% likelihood, I would estimate. I, I, if I had to put money on a bunch of War Scrolls being eliminated from Cities of Sigmar, I would absolutely be betting on that. Um, as far as other armies in, uh, the order range, um, I think really the nicer sculpts were moved to a lot of different armies and those new armies that they created are a lot smaller in terms of number of war scrolls that, um, are sort of sitting around. So, um, I don't think there's too much else. Um, I think Cities of Sigmar is really like that big candidate. And over the course of, you know, fourth edition, doing, say, one, two, three, four or five major new releases like that over the, you know, three or so years of fourth edition releases, I think that's certainly possible and reasonable. Um, you know, so this is all just sort of my speculation and thoughts on things to come and direction of everything based on what we've seen in the past. Um, you know, uh, feel free, drop some stuff down in the comments below on your thoughts of what the future of these things looks like. Are there any armies that I am missing that uh, might need a haircut? Uh, so uh, I think it, the nice thing about that notion is that as with Seraphon, we got a whole bunch of new sculpts for Seraphon, and they even injected a few new units altogether. So, I think um, there's going to be people that are going to be upset that their old models are gone. Those are old things that they loved, they can't easily just use an old model for a new war scroll that, you know... Um, that was kind of one for one replacing old sculpts. But, um, you know, I, I think it really does appeal to a lot of people. So, uh, I think that's going to be it for now, guys. Um, yeah, not a whole lot else going on. Um, as always, I do have a bunch more, uh, videos and stuff in the clip and, uh, had, a little bit of a, a rough week this past week, so I haven't been able to get as much out as I would have liked to. I've got, like, a bad sinus infection going on that has been here for, like, three weeks now that won't just go away. So, um, been a little bit challenging to do anything that requires brain power. All right. Well, that's it. I'm done babbling. I'll talk to you all later.